Here in one of Vancouver's most desirable neighborhoods, a renovated, move-in ready family home. Now the price tag slightly less than $4 million, but given a slow market over the past two years, it may be a better deal this house than it otherwise could be. At this moment, maybe things seem a little bit more open, like things aren't getting snapped up quite as quickly as they were when the interest rates were lower. It's still really challenging. There's not a lot of inventory in the desirable neighborhoods. Now, if this house doesn't sell quickly, the price could actually increase. That's according to a new Canadian Mortgage and Housing Corporation report today. It's saying house prices in Vancouver are expected to rise, get back to the peak where they were at two years ago. That's because buyers are expecting mortgage rates to drop so demand is increasing a little bit of positive momentum in that people are expecting rates to come down later this year so buyers are saying okay now's our time to get in let's go on a variable rate mortgage we'll take advantage of the lower rates as they unfold here in vancouver's west end rentals are numerous but the news isn't much better according to the cmhc rents are set to increase vacancy rates set to decrease also all tied to a lack of supply and even an increase in population to the region now I feel like I've been priced out, like I'm stuck in my apartment, I can't move out anymore. I'm affording my rent because I've been in my place for 11 years, so I'm protected under the tenancy rental um, cap that the government provides. The government should do something. But wait, hasn't the provincial government and the federal government been busy building rental housing? Yes, they have, with announcements almost weekly. But the CMHC says that supply is nowhere near to ready to keep up with demand. The provincial government, however, is more optimistic. We are confident, though, that we will surpass targets given that we are taking steps to unlock small-scale multi-units, unlock transit-oriented development, uh, and I do believe that BC will continue to lead the country in housing starts. So, what to do? Well, if you're looking to buy, the CMHC says look to Metro Vancouver's suburbs. That's where new builds that are affordable and available are set to come online over the next couple of years. As for rentals, well, hang on to what you have and hope that government-led rental building projects like this one come available fast. Chad Pawson, CBC News, Vancouver.